This is a SnapEd New York video presentation. Hi, I'm Miss Katie. I'm a youth nutrition educator under the SnapEd program. The purpose of SnapEd is to provide adults and youth with the information and tools they need to lead healthier lives. Today we're going to do a lesson from the Serving Up My Plate curriculum. Serving Up My Plate is an awesome resource that combines math, science, English, and health. Today's lesson is all about My Plate. By the end of today, youth will be able to identify the five My Plate food groups and name foods that go into each group. A little bit later on, we'll join Miss Kirsten in the kitchen where she has a recipe that can include all five My Plate food groups. Think about what being healthy means to you. What does it mean to eat healthy? You might have said things like eat more fruits and vegetables, drink water, eat less, or try to avoid junk food. Those are all great answers. To be healthy, it means that we eat healthy and get enough physical activity. A tool that will help us eat healthier is my plate. My plate divides foods into the five food groups, fruits, vegetables, grains, proteins, and dairy. My plate also shows us how much of each food group we're eating. If you notice vegetables and dairy, they're different sizes. The larger food groups on my plate are telling us that we should be eating more of these foods. We can be healthier if we eat things like fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and low-fat dairy. Let's talk a little bit about the food groups. If you look at fruits, what's your favorite fruit? I like raspberries and most berries. I also like apples and oranges. How about vegetables? My favorite would be zucchini, but I also like broccoli and greens like kale and lettuce. My favorite grains are whole wheat pasta and oatmeal. Protein, I eat a lot of chicken and sometimes I have eggs, beans, and nuts. Dairy foods like yogurt, cheese, and low-fat milk are also great choices that I like. We're gonna do a My Plate activity now. I want you to pause the video, find a piece of paper and something you can write with. On the screen, you'll see the five My Plate food groups. Your job with a friend, parent, teacher, or sibling is to brainstorm a list of foods that go into each of these food groups. Then you'll come back and look at my list and your list. Welcome back. On the screen now, you'll see the list of foods that I came up with. Mine might look different from yours and that's okay. I bet you thought of foods that I didn't think of. Remember that not every food goes into a My Plate food group because some of our foods are combination foods. This means that they go into more than one food group. For example, think of a chicken taco. The chicken would go into my protein group. The tortilla or taco shell would be a grain. Lettuce would be a vegetable. And if you chose to add a sprinkle of cheese on top, that would be your dairy. Now we're gonna join Miss Kirsten in the kitchen. She's got a fun recipe that she's gonna tell you all about. While she's talking about the ingredients, I want you to keep all five My Plate food groups on your brain. Hi everyone, my name is Ms. Kirsten. Just like Ms. Katie, I also am a nutrition educator under the Snap Ad program. So now that we've learned something new, it's time to cook. Today, we'll be making pasta salad. Pasta salad is a perfect recipe because it not only is customizable, but we can also fit all five of the MyPlate food groups into it, just like Miss Katie talked about. Feel free to pause the video if you would like to cook along with me, or you can watch the whole video and make the recipe afterwards. Let's get cooking. I like to call today's recipe MyPlate Pasta Salad because it incorporates each of the five MyPlate food groups. For my grain, I'll be using whole wheat pasta. For my vegetable, I'll be adding in a carrot, I'm actually gonna count my cucumber and red pepper as fruit because fun fact, if something has seeds in the inside, scientifically speaking, it counts as a fruit. For my protein, I'll be adding garbanzo beans, also known as chickpeas. For my dairy, I'll be sprinkling in some Parmesan cheese. 
I will be dressing my salad with some light Italian dressing. Feel free to use any other variation of light dressing that you would like. For my supplies, I have cutting boards, a knife, a mixing bowl with a mixing spoon, and a grater. And to actually cook our pasta, you will need a pot, a strainer, and a spoon, but maybe have an adult help you cook and prep that ahead of time. So before we actually get cooking, we have to make sure we wash our hands. So when you wash your hands, just make sure that we're using warm water with soap, washing them for 20 seconds. And then actually while I'm over at the sink, I'll be washing my fresh fruits and vegetables with some cold water. Joining me in the kitchen today is Miss Katie. Hi. So the first thing that we're going to do is prep our vegetables for our pasta salad. So Ms. what Miss Katie is gonna do is first cut our red pepper. So when cutting, knife safety is very important. So when Miss Katie is cutting, she's using a cutting board. She's making sure that the blade is facing down onto the table and she is paying attention to what she's doing and not talking to me while she's cutting the pepper. So the first thing that she's going to do is cut the pepper into strips using the bridge. So you're holding what you're cutting like this and you're cutting down in the middle of your fingers. That way, no cut fingers. Awesome. She's going to continue using the bridge, cut the peppers into strips. Once the peppers are into strips, she's actually going to use the claw method. And we're going to dice up our peppers into smaller pieces. is actually our cucumber. So you can choose to peel the cucumber if you want or not. We're going to leave the peel on for ours. So the first thing that Miss Katie's gonna do is she's gonna grip the cucumber and slice the cucumber into circles. She's tucking her fingers in, keeping it away from the knife, and just inching back. Awesome. And once you have a slice of cucumber, she's actually going to cut it into quarters. So right down the middle, tucking your fingers, rotating, and cutting down again. Excellent. Now what Miss Katie's gonna do is she's going to grate our carrot for us. So with the grater, all of these little holes are like tiny little blades, so they are very sharp. So when you're using the grater, just make sure to keep your fingers as far away as possible when you're grating. Now that all our vegetables are prepared, it's time to assemble our pasta salad. Prepared whole wheat pasta. Miss Kitty was so kind as to prepare it before. Now all she's gonna do is add all of our vegetables. And fruits. <laughs> Perfect. Looks so colorful. Now we're going to add our chickpeas. Awesome. Sprinkling in some of our Parmesan cheese. And dressing it with our light Italian dressing. Now the fun part is mixing it all together. We'll see if Miss Katie can do that without <laughs> Making a mess. No mess here. <laughs> then once everything is mixed together, we're going to make a little bowl and do our best to make sure all of our ingredients are in there. That way, our bowl has each of the five food groups all in one. How good does that look, Miss Kirsten? It looks delicious. Perfect. Thank you for joining us in the kitchen and don't forget to eat all five food groups every day. That looks like a perfect recipe for this summer.
Now remember, my plate is a tool that will help you put together balanced meals. And to be healthy means that we need to eat healthy and get enough physical activity. I am so glad you could join us today. You are working so hard to get all the tools you need to live a healthier life. The next meal you eat, I want you to think about my plate. Try to get half a plate of fruits and vegetables in a whole variety of colors. Choose a whole grain, a low fat dairy, and try to aim for lean protein. For parents and teachers, if you are looking for more resources like information, recipes, and tips, you can visit us at snapedny.org. It starts with just one small change, and we're here to help. Thank you for joining us today. We know the healthy choice isn't always the easiest choice, but small changes can make a big difference. Start today by getting involved with Snap Ed New York. The program is free for all those who qualify or receive SNAP benefits. We want to help you save time, save money, and eat healthy. Learn how SNAP Ed can make a difference in your life. For more information and to find your local program, visit snapedny.org. This material was funded by USDA's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. SNAP, this institution is an equal opportunity provider.